atheist pirates clearing illegal religious signage from public life. Atheist Street Pirates, a subgroup of the Los Angeles-based group Atheists United, has been actively clearing out religious signage illegally posted in public places since 2021. The Street Pirates began as a joke at an Atheists United meeting when members complained about religious signage all over the city. The idea started as a quote unquote religious re <laughs> religious rubbish removal, which eventually became the Atheist Street Pirates. The group is not removing any signage from any church property as those signs maintain the separation of church and state. Evan Clark, the executive director of Atheist United, said he understands that people put a lot of passion behind these signs in their messages. I just wanted to do this as a casual thing to keep our streets secular. The group has already tracked more than 70 signs across Los Angeles County on their Google Map database. They have an inventory with photos and locations of the signage they encountered. To maintain consistency, Clark also said that if his team encountered any atheist signage in the public space, they would take that down as well. I'm against this. Separation of church and state, that doesn't mean that you can't have religious uh, adver advertisement of religious in public places. Separation of church and state means that you can't have religion in government. It doesn't mean like no public advertisement of anything religious. This is... I think this is a violation of free speech, and it, like, if no, you believe not. that, and it, okay, what do you think separation of church and state means that people can't put on an ad, a religious ad, in public? No. So the idea is not that this is literally a violation of constitutional rights. These signs are illegal; they're not supposed to be there, right? Why? So because it, it it's clutter it's litter it can damage public property um it okay, can distract that. people it can distract but, people on the highway it when, there's no problem if it's on their own property but technically in these public places it is illegal and then why did they state that the why first of all two things based on that why did they say separation of church and state one two are they removing other ads that have nothing to do with religion or just a religion one well, okay, because if, to be fair, it wasn't say them that, saying the hmm. separation of church and state. It was our writers talking about that it's fine and not a violation or it's not illegal and because of these things anymore because when it's on their own property. Okay. So, okay. So if this is illegal, then the religious nature of them doesn't make them illegal. Any other no. advertisement would also be illegal like this, right? So let's just be clear about that. And also, this is not putting, I just want to be clear with our community that putting a sign that says Jesus is the way, okay, in public is not a violation of church and state separation, okay? Because you should be, you should be in favor of religious people being able to uh, advertise your religion in public spaces if you're in favor of free speech that's an expression of free speech if they're doing it in a way that is against the law that is hazardous that is like providing um it's like i don't know spreading garbage or whatever and you have to be consistent like you would have to take down a similar sign that is promoting for example atheist republic would also be illegal mm -hmm. and would also have the same we, you you should be against that as well, right? Just be consistent with it, right? That's all. Anyways, that's all I have to say because I want to. I have a meeting with my family uh, in fifteen minutes, and I want to make sure we get. I get to that. Yeah. No, I just want to say th they're not trying to say that th this is about them. This group being bothered by the fact that they see so much religious preaching everywhere in Los Angeles, and they're like, "We're we don't like the how." This reflects our community because a lot of it is very fear-based messaging about going to hell and repenting and all this stuff. And it's like, we just want to clean this up. We would like our streets to not overrepresent a certain religious population because we have a really diverse community here. Okay, and I said my... Uh, no one likes to hear okay. about hell, you know? Well, okay. Uh Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship.
Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.